Only three teams in college football history have defeated Oklahoma five times in a row. And the Wildcats owned the Sooners again in 1997. K-State's punt return unit stunned the Sooners early. But this picture-perfect 95-yard punt return by David Allen was called back on a penalty. And the two teams ended the first quarter scoreless at a windswept Owen Field. Purple offense got rolling in the second quarter, and the Wildcats took a 10-0 lead on this one-yard run by Michael Bishop. The Sooners answered with an impressive drive before halftime. The Sooners drove all the way to the K-State three, but went to the locker room scoreless. Third down and goal from the three-yard line. For Oklahoma, Moore at quarterback. Back in the pocket, looking, looking. Looking, still looking, now being rushed, eludes one Wildcat, still rolling, still on his feet. He gets hit and brought down by Damian McIntosh at the 19-yard line. And the fumble the football, and K-State gets it with seven seconds left in this first half. They were driving down the field, and I knew somebody had to make a play. I was trying to get there, and I got tried to get to the quarterback, and I missed him. And it, it by time for somebody else to get there. Damian McIntosh got there, made him cause a fumble, and I just happened to be there to get on the ball, so... The Sooners trimmed the lead to 10-7 early in the third quarter, but K-State answered with touchdown drives of 47 and 80 yards to seize control in the second half. For Kansas State, first and 10 of the 19, they hand it off to Eric Hickson. Eric to the 15, Eric to the 10, cuts back, down to the 5, inside the 5 to the 3-yard line. Turns, hands it off, Hickson off the right side, Eric gets hit, drives toward the goal line, he goes in for 6 points. Eric Hickson, a touchdown for Kansas State. They hand it off, Mike Lawrence, 25, Lawrence, 20, 15, 10, 5. Mike Lawrence down to the one-yard line. First and goal for Kansas State, Hicks on the one back. Bishop sets, throws, pass out in the flat, wide open is Darnell McDonald, and Kansas State scores six more points. The vaunted Sooner rushing attack was stuffed for 124 yards on 52 carries. All-conference defensive end Darren Howard led the Wildcat defense with two fumble recoveries, and he was pleased with the victory. Through the years, Oklahoma's fans, they just don't give us respect, and I think it's important for us to go down there, or let them come up here, and just show them that we're the dominant team, and just keep doing that every year. Michael Bishop engineered a balanced offense with 158 passing yards. While Eric Hickson led the ground attack, with 82 yards and a touchdown. Final score, K-State 26, Oklahoma 7. The Wildcats survived to scare the following week, but pulled out yet another road victory with a 13-2 triumph at Texas Tech. It looked like the Cats had taken an early lead on this perfect 80-yard touchdown pass from Jonathan Beasley to Gavin Fariz, but the play was called back on a holding penalty. On the very next play, Beasley was flagged for intentional grounding in the end zone. The safety gave the Red Raiders a tenuous 2-0 lead. K-State took the momentum into halftime when Michael Bishop hooked up with junior Darnell McDonald. Third and 13 now for K-State at the 23 and I formation behind Bishop. Takes a snap, back in the pocket, sets, lost a pass toward the end zone. Darnell McDonald makes a catch. Touchdown, Kansas State. What a grab by Darnell McDonald. It was the fade route to the pylon, and McDonald makes a catch. A beautiful pass by Bishop, 23 yards on the play. An interception deep in K-State territory gave Tech a chance for the lead in the fourth quarter. Bishop and a shotgun, three, two, they get the snap off. Here comes the rush, it's a screen pass, it's picked off by Tech inside the five-yard line. Tech has the football inside the five, Monte Rager intercepted the pass. But the Cat defense responded with maybe the biggest play of the year. Second and goal from the one. Williams the one back behind Lethridge. 
Takes a snap, keeps it, dives, goes up, fumbles the football. It's loose. Kansas State has recovered in the end zone, and the Wildcats have recovered the fumble in the end zone. Lamar Chapman jumped on the football, and the Cats get it at the goal line, and they'll move it out to the 20-yard line. There's the first turnover of the day, and the Cats take advantage. Xavier left to try to dive over, and Jeff Kelly, I think, hit him with the ball, and I was just standing there, and I seen it pop down, and I just dove on it, and the referee seen the ball pop out, and he gave it to us after that. You know, I felt pretty good about it, you know, and the offense were back out there, and they ran the clock out, so I thought that was a big play for us this year. Beasley put the final nail in the Tech coffin with this 33-yard run in the final minutes. Beasley in there for his second straight series. Quarterback draw for Beasley. Cuts to the outside. Jonathan Angles 30, 25. Jonathan 20, 15, 10, 5. Jonathan Beasley, touchdown Kansas State. Jonathan Beasley with a 33-yard touchdown run for the Wildcats, and they expand their lead to 12 to 2 with 3.05 left in the game. Um, coach called a, like an ISO play, and um, Goolsby set up the block, and I mean, Edward, the lineman caved everybody inside, and I was able to pop outside. Then I got great blocks downfield from Gavin and Darnell. I mean, they cut their guys, and it was just smooth sailing in the end zone. K-State survives in Lubbock, 13-2. K-State brought a 7-1 record into its annual matchup with Kansas and left no doubt who controls bragging rights in the state for the fifth year in a row. It was a near flawless performance by the Purple offense, defense, and special teams, as all three units contributed touchdowns in a game full of spectacular plays. Twins to the far side, Bishop with a shotgun on first down and 10. Michael back in the pocket, sets, looks, throws a deep bat pattern. Gavin Paris, cuts five yard line. Gavin Paris is in for a touchdown. Kansas State, a 28 yard strike. Bishop to Gavin Paris. It's his first career touchdown catch. Bishop with a shotgun on third and eight from the cat, 37. Takes a snap, back in the pocket. Michael looks, looks, rolling, guns the ball downfield. Has a man down there, McDonald makes a catch. 10, five, McDonald touchdown, Kansas State. On Unbelievable throw by Michael Bishop. That ball must have gone 70 yards in the air. It's a 63-yard touchdown toss, and the Cats lead 13 to nothing. That when I was a, a decoy route, you know, uh, I was just supposed to run off the corner so uh, Gavin Priest can get the flag route to the corner. Uh, and when I was running, after I made my release move, I realized that, you know, I was had a couple steps on him. And, you know, I looked back, and Mike was looking at me, and I was like, yes, throw it, you know. And he made a perfect pass on the run. It was, I think it was about 60 yards in the air, you know. And I went to catch it, made the catch, and I had to break for tackle at the five uh, to get into the end zone. And it's, it's real good to get score against KU, you know, with all the fans there and everything. And after the game, all the K, uh, Kansas fans giving you high fives and stuff. It felt real good. Garcia has it teed up at the 35. The approach of the kick headed toward Gerald Niesman. He'll take it at about the two. Niesman up to the 10. 15 to the 20, sidesteps the defender, 25, 30, he's with 35, 40, 45, 50, 40, 30, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown Kansas State, no flags, this baby's going to count, it's now 20 to 9, K-State, a 98-yard kickoff return by Gerald Eastman. A 21-yard Martin Gramatica field goal just before the gun gave K-State a 24 to 9 halftime lead and set the stage for a sensational second half. KU went three and out on the opening possession of the second half, and it took the Wildcats all of 34 seconds to light up the scoreboard. Dean Royal, be his fifth punt of the day, only averaging 36 yards a kick, booms it away, that's a good kick. David Allen backed it around to 30 to catch it. Upfield goes out on 35, 40, has a hole, 50, 45, angles, trying to get around Royal, does, 30, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown Kansas State, their second special teams touchdown of the day, and the Wildcats have blown this one open, they lead 30 to 9. The fireworks continued with his 16-yard scoring play from Bishop to Paris. And then it was Neesman again, with a score for the defense. 
Kansas first and 10 from their own 36. Wagner back in the pocket to throw. Throws one out in the flat. Pass picked off Gerald Eastman. 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Kansas State. They pick off the Wagner pass and now lead it 47 to 9. In the last three years, the Wildcats have now outscored the Jayhawks 127 to 35. An average winning margin of 42 to 12. In 97, the Sunflower Showdown is painted purple again, 48 to 16.